Hi there, Wendy here from Draw So Cute. In this video, we're going to draw and color the impossible heart. So let's get started. With this heart, we're going to first start by drawing a small straight line. And this small straight line right here is going to be the center of our heart. So just a small straight line. And however wide you draw this is going to determine how wide your heart's going to be. So we're going to come straight down. Just come straight down and we're going to draw the same thing. So just imagine a straight line and wherever you end is about how tall your um, heart's going to be. So I'm going to come straight down. It's about right there. I'm just going to give myself a point. And give myself a point. So if you want, you could get a ruler too and just make sure that these two lines are straight up and down from each other. So we got the two small lines in. And from there, the first step is to come and draw a heart, basically half of a heart. So we're going to come from this point right here and go up. So we're going to come up all the way, just draw us as if you're drawing a regular heart. And we're going to come all the way down to this point right here, to the opposite side on the other other line. So I know this heart, impossible heart looks really complicated, but actually when you look at it and um, take it step by step, it's actually pretty simple to draw. <laughs> That's why I'm not using a pencil. I'm going to go ahead and use a Sharpie. So it makes it easier for you guys to see. So from there, we're going to draw the same thing, but smaller now from this um, point right here. And so we're just going to follow what we did on the outside and just make it nice and even all the way around. So just come back down to here. So when I first started drawing this, I was trying to figure out an easy way to show you guys. And I must admit, I was pretty confused in the beginning of all these little angles everywhere. And finally, I figured it out. So hopefully, um, this will make it easy for you guys to follow along and draw it too. So from there, the um, next step is to come up. We're going to go up, straight up right here. Just give yourself a point. So you're coming from this point, go straight up. And basically this is going to be the curve that comes around right here to give this heart some dimension. So you're just going to follow your heart and then you're going to taper it down towards this part right there. And then from, and then from there, let's come up the same thing from this point. Now we're going to go straight up, give yourself another point. And once again, we're trying to go for the same kind of um, the width. So that's why it's about right here. And from there, we're going to go in. So maybe a little bit easier. I'm just going to go, just follow this line. Just go up. And then from here, about right here, I'm going to start to bring it in. So just continue to meet up with that line like that. You can smooth it out. Okay, so now from there, I know it's starting to get complicated, <laughs> but just follow these steps and you'll see it come together. It's really cool. So then from there, we're going to draw the other side. So come from right here and we're going to be drawing the inside part of this heart. So we're basically going to be drawing this on the other side. But before we draw this, let's come down right here and in the middle, of this line come straight down and just give yourself a point right here so make sure you come to the middle of this come straight down so it'll be about right here you want to go up right here and draw a heart so basically what you drew on here so let's come over and just give yourself a little guide so you know that's about how high on the other side come down. So you try to match that part as much as possible. And let's see here. I'm not too off and then I'm going to come down and connect it to this. So nice. And down to that. So basically we just drew the inside part right here to match that one. And then from there, the next step is to come back up here with this point and just connect it. Go around, up. So same thing again, same width. Go up and taper it in right there. And then from there, let's draw this part. We're gonna go up now. 
So basically we're gonna come up right here, give yourself a point. Once again, same width, and we're gonna go up. So now this is gonna be the top part that we're gonna match. So about right here, just give yourself a point so it's about the same height. We're gonna go up and bring it around. And come back down to this point. So just follow your lines. And now the last one. So right here, we're gonna bring a line to connect back to here. So about right here, we're just going to continue a curve and bring it in. And that's it. <laughs> Ta-da! Pretty cool, right? So hopefully that was easy for you to follow along. So now to make it really pop, what you wanna do is, um, if you don't wanna color it, you would just use your uh, color pencil or black and just do the shading. But I'm gonna make it um, pink here. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Crayola color uh, marker right here, water-based marker and a um, Crayola color pencil just to do the shading. So as you saw here, I left some white parts right here on the four um, edges right here just to add some bling and highlight to this heart. You don't have to do that, but if you wanted to add some bling <laughs> to your heart, you can. Um, this is something you would do right there. And so then now I'm gonna go in with my color, dark uh, black color pencil, and I'm gonna go into all these areas right here and make it really dark, just to pop it out more, to give it the shadow. So right here, and then as you come out, lighten up on your um, pressure of your color pencil and then fade it out. So right here, you would go really heavy and then fade it out. So then you would do that same thing right here. So on all the edges and fade it out. So that really adds depth to your heart. So there, the impossible heart all drawn and colored. I hope I made it easy for you guys to follow along and to finally be able to draw this. Thanks so much for watching. And if you loved it, please give me a thumbs up and share it. And remember to subscribe so you won't miss any new Drawstick Cube videos. See you later.